Well, um, when I was probably like 12 or 13, I, um, I started to get into like Lenny Bro and, um, and the way the way I heard his music was through Tommy Emmanuel. I'd see him doing these kind of things, and I kind of like traced it back to like Lenny and Chet Atkins. And um, I mean, Tommy does it with such like confidence and like such um, um, a melodic sensibility. But Lenny does it with such kind of interesting chords and more of a jazz kind of vibe. Um, the kind of concept is to play a harmonic and then an open string. With um, I do it with my like ring finger, I guess. I would start off with like a roll and kind of build it um, into like a more a cascading kind of thing. This is all Tommy Emmanuel kind of stuff. Okay, so the way this kind of um, this stuff works is you use your index finger to actually fret the harmonic, and like I use my thumb pick, I can get it cleaner with a thumb pick um, to fret, like to actually sound the string. So you kind of you're really doing this. That's the 12th fret harmonic, and if you move like a bar on your left hand up to like the ninth fret, for example, and do the same thing. I mean, this will be really hard at first, but you kind of just got to, you know, do it. And it's a really good technical thing to do because your hands aren't used to doing things like this. Um, and with like my, my ring finger, I kind of start off with a, like an open string and then play a harmonic. And them going against each other kind of sounds like, gives you that kind of harpy kind of sound. and. Once you kind of get comfortable with doing that, you can create a roll with it. Like, um, and you can do it over different chords, like, um, so if you're changing chords with this um, kind of idea, your index finger has to actually follow the shape of the chord. So if you're playing like a, a B minor seven bar chord, for example, your index finger has to like actually outline the chord. And the ring finger will still play, you know, the open string, which is actually like a fretted note. And so I'm just following that shape. And so I'm, if I'm playing like a, you know, this kind of vibe, I'm just following the shape. If I'm playing this, I'm just following the shape. So it, it, it'll take a minute to find like the sweet spot um, of the note because some harmonics kind of won't sound right and you have to kind of like just practice it, trying to get each note as loud and as clear as you can. And um, it'll be a challenge at first, but it's kind of worth the, worth the struggle, so to speak. Um, and I mean, a chord like, I mean, a simple chord like this. Um, can be a challenge to kind of outline all the notes properly, but um, I mean, it can be done. And if you go to a complicated chord like, like this and um, try and get all the notes clean, it's kind of like a good way to like, develop that. Thank you.